the first day of Vlogmas. Uh, so it is December 1st and we are kicking off Vlogmas. Um, I have no idea how interesting Vlogmas will be this year because everybody is like shut down again, but I thought still documenting all of this would be interesting to look back on one day and see what was Christmas like when we were in the middle of a pandemic. So um, thank you for joining me for this Vlogmas and um, we will go along for this ride together and who knows where it will, where it will lead. So um, it's uh, first thing in the morning. I actually have quite a full day today of things, um, which will be tiring for me. But I have a speech therapy appointment this morning, uh, a virtual one. Everything is virtual uh, to try to like fix what's going on with this. I'm a little skeptical about it, but we'll give it a try. Uh, I have a group meeting for a class. I have class and I have to take Philip into his dad's for a, a Taekwondo lesson. Um, he started doing Taekwondo uh, a few weeks ago, a month or so ago. I can't remember how long he's been doing it. Um, and since things closed, they've been doing private lessons, so it's just their family goes. Uh, so I'll have to take him in for that. So there's quite a bit going on. Uh, and it's the first day of Vlogmas and Advent, and so there's uh, nitty stuff to be happening uh, later as well. So I will take you along for that, and I'll talk to you in a bit. I also wanted to show you, I set up this little area for advent calendars to this year. Um, I have chocolate ones for each of the kids. They each have one. And then um, this is my advent scheme, which I'm going to be opening in a little bit and caking up. And this is um, my advent calendar, which I got from Legacy Fiber Arts. So I'm really excited about that. We are getting ready to open the 24 stripe skein and then our first advent mini. Okay. And I have my lovely assistant. <laughs> Which one are we like starting with? Let's do the skein first. I am too awake. <laughs> Let's see what these are going to be. It should be a dark Ooh. Mm. These are cool. Yeah. I like how they're like a variety of colors and it's not just like traditional Christmas colors, I think. But yeah. I like that a lot. Because as fun as red and green are for Christmas, it's a little much. <laughs> right, right. So, all right, well, we'll get those caked up later. All right, and then, and then here is our first. I want to be me. What color do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be light colored. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's really that's nice. Pretty. I like that a lot. I'm wondering if Sue will have died of fade again this year. I kind of hope so. Mm, yeah. Or ones that, like, they coordinate mm -hmm. together. So... There we have it. So it is now evening, um, the kids have gone to bed, and I'm just kind of unwinding for the rest of my night. Um, I'm going to put this together and edit it and hopefully get it up 
for you guys and watch some maybe some other vlogmas videos myself um i knit my first stripe on my advent socks which you guys will have seen and then um i wanted to cast on my advent project with my um my mini skeins and i had a horrible time oh my goodness i wanted to knit the land of sweets cowl which was from helen stewart's knit event um three years ago and for i i like couldn't cast it on the first time i cast it on i don't know what happened i i don't know what happened so i pulled it out and then my friend sent me a link to this wrap by um amba o'brien um I think it's like the Adventurous Wrap or something like that that was a also for Advent Minis and it, um, it had a really interesting construction and I looked at it and I actually bought the pattern because I was like oh maybe maybe I'll do that instead um, but then it, it has an interesting construction but I think it was going to be just too much because in addition to having my stripey socks and my Advent project I actually have two gift nets that I'm working on um, I'm going to show you one of them. I'm going to wait to show you the other one later on in Vlogmas. And so I'm like, I don't know if I want something because it was going to use up like most of the minis, which is a good thing, except that I wasn't sure that I'd be able to keep up with it and still get my gift nets done. So I wanted something that was going to be like a little bit smaller per day. So I went back to the cowl, trying to cast it on again. And um, the pattern calls for a US 4 24 inch circular needles. Um, I'm a tight knitter and um, I have knit this before and I knew that I used a US 5. So I have a US 5 24 centimeter cast on my, my stitches and it's like I can't get them to come together on the circular needle at all and I like try to force it it's not working I was like okay well maybe I'll just transfer them on to double points and that was not working so I ended up pulling it out and ripping it out again and I was like I don't know why I can't cast this on and at this point I was like maybe I'll just knit the wrap like forget it because I only have to cast on four stitches for that and um but I really I wanted the cowl. I wanted the whole process of the cowl and I wanted the finished finish product because I felt like a cowl is a lot easier to just like pull on and wear than like trying to get a wrap together and you know I just knit you know this from Stephen West and I just did knit a spring cleaning shawl so I've just knit like several shawls and so I didn't feel like I needed another one um so I was like all right do this one more time this time I actually cast it on with the double pointed needles and um, knit like the first four rounds and then I moved it over to the circulars. So I have finished that. Um, so this is just, it's just ribbing so it's not anything super exciting but this is the yarn and it's getting a little bit blown out because of my light but um, this is the yarn that was day one and uh, I still have like a lot of this left over um i haven't weighed it but there's probably like 15 grams of this left over so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna save it um put it aside and then decide if i want to do another like scrappy project with all of these minis or if um i just want to put them as like squares in my uh cozy memory blanket um i haven't decided yet that's yet to be determined. I think part of it will be determined how well the colors like play together. Like, can I create them, put them together in a way that's gonna look like aesthetically really pleasing or is it gonna be all random and haphazard? That will make a difference, I think, in what I decide to do with the leftovers. So, the my advent stuff is done. The other thing that I've been knitting on today is just a pair of vanilla socks. Um, this is Knit Picks Felici. These, uh, this is a gift net for my brother. Um, I knit my mom a pair of socks not too long ago. 
love. I gave it to her for her birthday in October. And he was like mad because I hadn't knit him socks. So I thought, okay, well, I'll knit him socks for Christmas. So this is the first one. Um, and uh, this is how I so I'm doing like a contrast heel. Um, and then I'll do, I may do a contrast toe or I may not. I haven't decided yet um, if I want to do a contrast toe because I have two skeins of it and I want to use up as much of it as possible. But it's self-striping and doing self-striping heels with self-striping yarn can make things look really weird. So I just did a contrast heel. Um, so I've got a little ways to go still on the foot because he wears a US size 10. So um, there's still quite a bit to go. And then I have the other sock. So that is what I am, what I was, what I've been working on and what I've been up to. So I'm going to leave it here for today, and um, I hope all of you had a good start to your month of November, December, <laughs> and uh, a good first day of Vlogmas, and um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night!